Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be doing a book review on the book City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh god, you guys probably can't. I'm going to turn it this way so you guys can just see it. I'll leave the camera like that. Okay, so that's the book. It's by Cassandra Clare. It's from the Mortal Instruments series. I did the other series yesterday, and I'm doing this one today. But basically this book i'll read this little back part right here but you can't really see all the words because of the sticker for the like scanning thing on the bob but i'll try to like read over it like read. i can't even read under it i'd have to just okay let's just let's just let's just look okay so the mortal war is over and blah 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 she's training to become a shadow hunter and something and shadow hunters are Shadow downworlders and shadow hunters are at peace at last, and most important of all, Clary can finally call her boy call Jace her boyfriend. But nothing comes without a price. Someone is murdering shadow hunters, provoking tensions that could lead to a second bloody war. C Clary's best friend Simon can't help her. Everywhere he turns, someone wants him to be on their side, along with the power of the curse that's wrecking his life. When Jace begins to pull away from Clary without explaining why, she's forced to delve into her heart and of a mystery whose solution reveals her worst nightmare. She has set in motion in a terrible chain of events that could lead to, who, to, to her losing everything she loves, even Jace. So, <clears throat> this book is, like, so good. You guys just have to read it. But basically what happens in this book is that Clary... Someone's killing all these shadow hunters and they don't know who it is. And they're trying to also find that out, but... Simon can't help because everywhere he's going, like, someone's like, hey, you should be on our side. We'll give you something if you're on our side because he has this mark of Cain, that's what it's called, on his forehead. And if you try to, like, hurt him, that an invisible force would just, like, kill you. But, or hurt you, it depends. But she, he has that because Clary wrote it on him. And then Clary finds out that Jace isn't actually her brother, so they're able to date now. But they didn't know that they were they weren't brothers. Uh, they're not blood brothers and sister. But they do have angel blood in them. So I guess you could say technically they are still brothers and sister. Well, not technically, but if you want, you could say they're still brother and sister. But basically, they're trying to find out who's doing all this stuff. Who's trying to kill all these people? But we don't know. So, and then Jay starts to pull away from her. But that's only because he's having these dreams. And he basically finds out that someone's putting those dreams into his head. And he's being controlled by Lilith. She was the first wife of Adam. And basically she's trying to control him. And then also Lilith takes Simon. And she wants Simon to give Sebastian because Sebastian's dead. Well, not necessarily dead because he comes back to life but what's it called he he's dead and he wants she wants Simon to give him his blood but Simon won't do it because when he drinks the blood out of what's his name uh, out of Sebastian he gets sick so everybody's trying to help him but they really can't so that's basically what happened in this book um, that's the end of this video, basically. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below if you like this video. And just subscribe to my channel. I mean, like, you don't have to. Because, you know, no one's forcing you. But just like this video. And comment down below if you'd like to see the next or Mortal Instruments books reviewed. But, yeah. Until next time, guys. Bye.